Aries, 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 Aries. Hello, Aries. Oh, do do do. Aries, Aries. <laughs> How are you guys doing today, Aries? I'm so excited to do you guys this reading. Hope you guys are having a good one. Thank you so much for tuning in, freaking. As you guys already know, this is going to be another general reading to see what lunatic is coming towards you. Keep in mind the situation here can be uh, vice versa or interchangeable, right? Aries may have done this to you. That's what I mean by interchangeable. Also, Aries, if you haven't already, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend, okay? If for whatever reason, you know, strange reason this does not resonate for you, feel free to watch your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Um, you know, you guys liking definitely helps us creators with the algorithm. It helps for our messages to be, um, you know, to reach more people, right? So thank you so much for those of you who like every single video. So let's see what is coming towards Aries and love angels. What do you have for Aries? What do you have for Aries and love? Aries, what lunatic for Aries? Oh, this one to come out. Retreat. Aries, Aries, what do we have? Aries. And stay optimistic about your love life. Bottom of the deck is romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. I hate when it says like stay optimistic. Like, well, it's kind of, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to stay, stay optimistic. You know what I'm about? When this world is so full of BS and deception. And anyway, all right. So, Aries, let's see. I'm gonna pull those letters too in just a moment. Aries, what is coming towards Aries and love? Purge and release. So there's a need for you to purge and release. Or maybe this person needs to purge. <laughs> and then we also have a final move. So Spirit gave you guys two cards. The other signs only got one. Um, but yeah, final move. Bottom of the deck, Aries, is walking away. So some of you have walked away from someone. Um, or this person walked away from you. Maybe your person walked away from someone that's not good for them. Okay, because right behind that, we have transformation. You could be connected to a Gemini because Gemini did uh, have like a similar storyline with the transformation. Aries. Aries. What is coming towards Aries in their love situation? What is going on for Aries? Oh, okay. Okay, so Aries, we've got new patterns, new patterns. Do things differently in order to bring healthy, do things differently in order to bring health and vitality into your love life. So there's a need to purge and release something. Maybe someone needs to kind of go through their own transformation in order for them to be a little bit more healthier, not just for you, but for you know people in general like i feel like someone really needs to purge and release something about themselves okay um so let's see oh let me pull these these letters okay. aries who is aries dealing with dealing with okay guys there's a lot of b's in here b as in boy y there's an a there's a lot of h's damn there's so many a's and b's a's and b's yeah n another b a v a j strong j strong l Strong F. Oh, someone may have had a baby. There's like a baby foot. Isn't that so for you? Every time that one comes out, I'm just like, that is so cute. So this could be your child's father, child's mother. All right. That's what we got. Aries. 
So we are connected to a Scorpio or an Aquarius. What is coming towards Aries and love? All right. Bottom of the deck, Aries, you have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You could be connected to a fixed sign. So Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Um, I feel like Aries, you're in a very stagnant situation. You're in a very stagnant place in your love life. This could be in general or maybe just um, with someone, right? Because I feel like you feel as though your love life is not really going your way. Um, you may feel like you just have bad luck when it comes to love. Um, so some of you could be feeling down, although I don't see that you feeling down for much longer. I do see you getting over it, <laughs> but that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up on Aries. Others of you, you're in a very stagnant situation with someone and you, you are hoping to see some kind of change. Um, you need to, you want them to change or something to change, right? You want movement in this connection. What's coming towards Aries and love? What do you have for Aries spirit? Aries, what do you have? What do you have coming towards Aries in love? Aries, the sun. What is coming towards Aries in love? Aries. Ooh. So you, you could definitely be dealing with a with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius. What's coming towards Aries in love? Aries, Aries. Okay, yeah, someone's worried sick. Someone's worried, Aries. Um, I feel like you're very frustrated um, in this connection or someone's just frustrated in this connection, Aries, because they just want to... Uh, they, they, they're they frustrated because someone may feel as though, um, you know, they just want shit to change. They just want someone to do better. They want improvement, okay? Um, this could be somebody at work that is interested in you, you that you're dealing with, right? I feel like with the temperance reverse, somebody is kind of running out of patience here. I don't know. Maybe you're running out of patience with this person, okay? Um, this is the one that you really do feel, you know, for some of you, like they make you happy. You do have those feelings about them. But at the same time, I feel like there's something about them. Or the situation that's kind of making you feel anxious. You're in your head, okay? And I feel like you're just like at the point to where you're like, okay, I'm just going to give up on this, right? What's coming towards Aries in love? Tell me more. Aries in love. What is coming towards Aries in love? Aries. Um, somebody wants this union. Somebody wants to get back together. Somebody wants to get back together, Okay. Four of Wands, Two of Wands. Someone's waiting on this. That's what they want. They do want to get back together. But maybe someone's waiting on an answer, Aries. Okay. Two of Wands in reverse definitely talks about somebody who um, maybe there was some distance at, at first. Maybe somebody kind of pulled away. And now that same person who did that is just like, you know what? I think I want to go back to Aries. What's coming towards Aries in love? Tell me more, Aries, Aries. Okay, so this could be someone who's definitely um, emotionally unavailable. That could be the issue that you have with this person. Whenever I see the King of Cups reverse, this is someone who's trying not to use their emotions. This is someone who's trying not to show them. Um, this is somebody who's trying not to fall in love. I do feel like there could also be issues of trust here. Someone may have trust issues, whether this person fucked you over or not. Um, their trust issues could be lingering from their past. Okay, and I just feel like someone's like, I want to be together already. I want this, like, come on, you know, I want to take things to the next level. But how can you if these, if this person has all of these issues, you know, when someone is emotionally unavailable, they do have trust issues. So they all go hand in hand. And I think that's why new patterns are here because someone needs to purge and release and, um, uh, have new patterns that's what I feel somebody needs to do things differently see things differently in order for this to you know go the distance 
Because for the most part, I feel like this is someone who, you know, makes you happy, right? Or you make them happy. But there's a real imbalance here. There's an imbalance here. All right. What is this Three of Pentacles about for Aries, please? I feel like you're trying to make it work with somebody, but at the same time, it's like a relationship. This is what I'm hearing. A relationship or a connection, whatever you want to call it, without trust is like a car without gas. It ain't going nowhere. Okay? Cancer did have this reading like about trust, so you could definitely be connected to a Cancer. Judgment in the reverse. Scorpio, Cancer just came out. What do you know? chariot so there's this is like someone wants to push things forward that's what they want they're like you know come on i want to i want to but at the same time someone may want to build slowly someone probably doesn't want to move too fast moving fast scares them possibly but and guess what as soon as i said that guess what's at the bottom of the deck nine of pentacles they don't want to move too fast or someone doesn't want to move too fast tell me about the sun card so they will come back to rebuild with you. They will come um, to work on this connection and dedicate themselves to this connection. But it's going to be a slow build. See, someone could definitely be running away from this happiness. The Nine of Wands in reverse to me is someone who has a lot of fear, fear of commitment, you name it. But the motherfucker is running away. Okay, but I feel like this person, they, they've recently had an awakening and they're starting to see like, wow, you know, I really am in love. I need to just kind of just accept it already um, <laughs> and stop overthinking it because someone's in their head, Aries. They are. They just want to let you in already. They just want to let their guard down. I do see this person like surrendering. Um, temperance reverse. This is someone who could be drinking a lot. Temperance reverse. Like they may have drinking problems. That could be another problem for you. Maybe you're like, okay, well, I love you. I want this to work out. But at the same time, like you need to get your drinking issues under control. You need to get counseling. I feel like Aries, this person tends to communicate with you when they're drunk. Some of them. That's the only way they're able to get a little closer to you when they're drunk. And it's not because they don't love you. But I feel like they're able to be more vulnerable when they're drunk. That sounds so fucked up, but tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for Aries and love. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They do still want this. They do. Some of you, this could be an ex. Maybe you guys were together. They, there was some uh, adultery. You know, maybe they cheated on you when you guys were together in the past. But now here comes this person. Like, I just kind of feel like this is someone who... They want to get back together and do things differently this time. Nine of Swords reverse for Aries. Yeah, see, this person was ignoring their intuition, Aries. And I feel like there was something very toxic about whoever the hell this person is. I feel like they just want to let you in already. It could be a Pisces. They do want to let you in so badly. Four of Wands for Aries in love. Four of Wands. So of these could definitely be a twin flame connection. Justice. So, ooh. Yeah, so I see this person slowly but surely coming towards you, Aries. And they are going to make things right. They will. They plan to. Okay, they do plan to. I feel like this person has been really fighting this connection. I don't know what the hell their deal is. They've been fighting it. They plan to bring justice. They plan to bring answers. Two of Wands reverse for Aries. Two of Wands reverse for Aries. Oh, you see what I'm trying to say? They miss you. They don't want this to be a missed opportunity. They miss you. They have a lot of regret for walking away from you or for um, deciding not to really pursue this. They do have regret. Nine of Swords. I do see them contacting you unexpectedly. They will. King of Cups reverse for Aries. King of Cups reverse for Aries. King of Cups reverse for Aries. Someone just needs to really get out of their own way, Taurus. Yeah, this person's um they've been very stubborn and resistant to change. 
that's what the problem is but i think what's going to make you happy aries is obviously you guys will reconcile there will be clarity um but i feel like you guys really need to find a balance with each other there needs to be equal give and take here and the three of pentacles does show cooperation like you know this person's willing to work on things they're willing to change certain things about themselves if they need to because i feel like this is someone who may not they still have a lot of well i'm not gonna say like growing up i'm gonna say this is someone who has some learning to do they do have more learning to do so they may not handle things in the most mature way sometimes person may have a fear of change anything else Aries anything else anything else okay a new chapter so they want to oh wow Aries okay they don't want to see you with anybody else Aries that's the fact they don't want to see you with anyone else so I think that they are ready to embrace a new chapter with you they're ready to start all over they want a clean slate they want to work on it they want to build I feel like this is someone who's done putting up a wall putting up a guard they're really they're ready to let their guard down to let you in that way this can work out because how can it work out if there's no trust here and you have a wall that doesn't make sense okay and I do feel like this is someone who's very dedicated to you. Knight of Cups, they're coming in with an offer, Aries. They want another chance. That's what they want. Ace of Cups, they want a new beginning. Um, Aries, I also feel like you're going to have another offer, possibly someone from work. So it's up to you what you want to do. But, I mean, this person's ready to give it all they got. That's what they want to do. They want to give it all they've got now. What does this person want to say to Aries angels? Any messages? Messages from this person. Wow. So this person says that they can feel your energy easily. I feel like this is definitely like a twin flame situation or at least a soulmate because they can feel your energy. They can feel everything. What does this person want to say to Aries? What does this person want to say to Aries? Oh, they say they don't want to be without you, Aries. This person, they don't want to be without you. So they're willing to work on themselves or like cooperate with you. I will prove you wrong. What does this person want to say to Aries? What does this person want to say to Aries? If this is someone, let's say um, they cheated on you or whatever the case may be. I see them doing things differently now. I feel like the culprit was them really having a fear of actual commitment. You don't have to take them back with shit. What does this person want to say to Aries, please? Aries. person wants to say to Aries so we know that this is someone who doesn't want to be without you my life has been rough without you you are so sexy you mean more than you know what does this person want to say to Aries wow so they say I will make it up to you I will contact you soon and I was not man enough or woman enough. That's right. They sure as hell wasn't. I ran away from you. I really want to be with you. The thought of you with someone else hurts. And I will not take no for an answer. They're not going to take no for an answer, Aries. They're gonna, if someone's gonna really break down your walls if it's you that's guarded and they're gonna prove themselves. They want this. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and enjoy your weekend. Thank you.